So we finished our raised beds. We've got some more raised beds. Yeah. We've got some um, good quality topsoil on the top, and we are mixing. This has been sitting. This is from our very first and second batch of chicks that I hatched. Um, wood chips with all of their yummy goodness in the bottom. So we're just mixing that in. It's been stored in my greenhouse for the past few weeks. And we are about to get some tomatoes planted. I think that was a pretty good deal. Yeah, so if you see behind, I guess Sayla's head back there, we had a person message us uh, that does watch our YouTube channel, Games Out with us on social media. She Sweet said, couple yeah, she from asked, our local community. Actually, we, we got two of the duck eggs, or three, how many yeah. eggs? We got several ducks. Oh, we got several off. duck eggs from them. So, they called and said, hey, what are these berries? So it looked like a mulberry, but we didn't know. So we said, well, let's, let's do some research. So we researched it. It's a mulberry. And when I say a mulberry tree, I mean, this thing is like 50 or 60 Giant foot enormous. tall. I mean, it's huge. I've never seen beautiful. anything like Absolutely it. Beautiful. It's probably, I mean, 50 years old. It's huge, but it has berries all over it. So I told Misty, I said, well, why don't you ask her, see if we can get a cutting off it. And she was like, sure. So Misty asked her and I took her some happies. We took some tomato plants and a bag of our spring uh, mixed lettuce table in exchange for those cuttings. So uh, fairly easy to do. We took about what a foot or two yeah. cutting and um, took the bottom limbs off and we're gonna go stick them in the ground and fingers crossed we will have some mulberry trees very soon. Mulberries, the, the research we did, it looks like they grow pretty easy. Um, and can 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 do almost like an elderberry, like Misty said, just plant them straight in the ground. So, you know, if you look up mulberries, mulberries are pretty expensive little bushes. So, if we can get some berries from cuttings on a on a, a friend's uh, tree, why not? So, super excited about that, y'all! Stay tuned. We will keep you posted on how they do. Do that dance one more time. So how many do we have? We have six cuttings. All right, so for example, this is a cutting that we took and it must have been one that um, Colby cut that I didn't get to. So what you really need to do is you need to come in and kind of break this off down here and like this off right here. And then that would be what you would plant. Now we may just be experimental and all these ones we're breaking off almost do like a true cutting and go put it in water in our um our greenhouse just to try them because why not you know yeah we could and see how they do but they're they're pretty easy to identify your leaves have the little swoop right here and then they're jagged edges um and then of course your berries are going to grow on the underside of these so your berries will fall on the underside under the leaves. If you've never tasted mulberry, they're almost like a almost like a fainter raspberry, but a little bit more sweetness than a blackberry. So they're really good. We, they we have a pretty high sugar content. Yeah. So let's go get them in. Then we gotta get them watered. Um I guess we could go on the spent line. They've got to be somewhere where I can water them easy. Where are you going to go with them? What are you thinking? You think they're going to grow into that fence and cause any problems? Um, I'd put them out from the fence a little bit. I mean, I'd probably go out three or four foot from the fence. I know of one down there in between the light pole and that tree. Right. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's go. Let me get a shovel and we'll get started. Y'all to go get some of that coffee. 
Okay, so we've got them all planted. You see, um, the two on the end look really good. These two look good. They're wilting a little bit just because they're the way they were. They're kind of you know they're stood up from a limb. But uh, we've got topsoil around it, some real quality high end topsoil, just to um, hopefully and help it uh, to kind of establish. We'll check on these in a few weeks. They will go. They're, they're going to be like elderberries. They're going to go through a season they look like they're just dead just like dead stalks the whole purpose is um, as those older leaves these leaves right here fall off and those berries fall off they'll establish a root system and then put on new new growth so we're hoping to have these four right here on our tree line right next to our cows because we know we're not going to be moving them on this back side behind our big tower our play tower for the kids we've got some blackberries back there too so even though we've got our big orchard well over here we're trying to establish basically a food perimeter all the way around of just good permaculture in zone one, zoo, uh, one and two. So this will be a good addition uh, as Misty was talking. Uh, if we can get early harvest for mulberry and strawberries, and then we have our mid range harvest of blueberries, and then have our end of the year harvest such as apples, we're hoping to really have kind of a March to you know late October um of harvest of fruit that's that's awesome so our goal is to really try to establish fruit you've known that if you watched our videos really the last few years to really try trying to establish fruit at our homestead our vegetables are doing wonderful we have a 12 month growth period but if we can get that sweetness that fruit especially these being just pure beautiful beautiful sweet taste um that just adds to uh, really our growing season for our fruit So what are we doing? I'm just basically letting them have a play date. I'm gonna let them get in the water, kind of run around on the grass. Should we put a little hay in there, don't you think? A little straw? I want the floor so it's not So we've hard. gotta get two more, right? Yeah, I just, somebody's gonna have to hold this oh, and I'm well. gonna go get them. I wanna get ducky! I wanna get ducky! Go get the pool. You see those duckies? Thank you.